so hello everyone and welcome to another video at my channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about uh, that how you can either protect or uh, save your car uh, while the lockdown period is being continued and it's just not for the lockdown period uh, if you plan to keep your car uh, st staying at a, a single place or maybe keep it parked at the same place for more than a month or a uh, couple of months then this video would be helping you out so that uh, your vehicle doesn't get damaged while you keep uh, your vehicle parked and how are the essential components to be taken care of and uh, so that everything lasts for a long time so basically the video would be divided uh, into i think four or five different categories uh, in which you have to uh, change or maintain your car in such a way that uh, includes firstly uh, the engine uh, second would be the all the type of the mechanicals uh, maybe transmission uh, the arms the shockers and all third would be the tires fourth uh, would be the exterior paint uh, and uh, how you need to take care of it and the last would be the interior which is a kind of forgotten these days so i'll talk about all of this uh, one by one so firstly talking about the engine uh, to uh, save the engine the, there's not not a basically a major requirement uh, though, or a way in which you have to certainly do things that would help the engine to not get deteriorated or uh, get damaged in such a way so though the ideal condition to protect the engine is just to simply um, start your car in every five to seven days that's it nothing else and warm up the engine to basic uh, temperature the idling temperature of the engine and maybe rev it a bit and if would be it would if it's possible basically then it would be really good if you can take your car for a short drive i think one or two kilometers uh, in the current lockdown situation uh, you can uh, take your vehicle to um, maybe uh, run your vehicle in the colony or make it a two or three rounds that uh, that would really help so the other concern for the engine is basically the battery or the electrical system so the the one thing that is going to be affected the most while you uh, keep your car as idle is only the battery and uh, if we talk about the modern vehicles uh, we do not face such major issues because the uh, the computer of the vehicle of the latest vehicles is really really advanced and they do not uh, allow the battery person to be dropping while the car is standing but still uh, the best way is to start the vehicle in every five to seven days and uh, some people also think that uh, removing the battery terminal or keeping the battery out of the vehicle is also a solution in which uh, you uh, cannot uh, drain the battery that's very true but i would suggest this uh, to do when you plan to keep a vehicle for very long that is uh, if you think you maybe you're going abroad for five to six months or maybe more so in that case uh, this would be a vital option to do but uh, for one or two months then uh, this uh, won't be a vital thing if you uh, start your vehicle in every i think for just just for the battery if you start the vehicle even after 10 days now there would be nothing no issues in the battery and uh, for considering uh, the battery aspect only so if we talk about uh, diesel and petrol engines then the things vary because diesel uh, engines have a bigger battery to start them up because the current is more required to start up the engine whereas compared to the petrol you need to uh, be a bit more concerned for if you're having a diesel vehicle rather than a petrol vehicle because petrol vehicles generally don't uh, get that affected so now we have uh, talked about the engine the second thing would be the mechanicals uh, see that our cars are basically meant to run on uh, roads they are not uh, meant to uh, stand uh, on the same place for a long time so for that also the uh, there is a lot of strain that is being put up in uh, the mechanical parts that are the shockers or the arms or the links bearings and all so for that also i would suggest the same thing that you uh, can move your vehicle from the same place for every once in a week and that would be sufficient a small a very small ride uh, near in front of your uh, house only at the road in front of your house if you're making two three rounds there that would be more than sufficient no issues there and uh, the second thing that is to be uh, considered is you need to 
park your vehicle at a flat surface. Uh, the vehicle should not be uh, get parked sideways or uh, at a slope. Then that would uh, result in un uh, symmetrical wear. Maybe the left shocker would be pressed much more than the right shocker. So there could be a disbalance in the ride uh, riding of the vehicle if that's done for a long time. So I would suggest uh, just um, make it a short ride or somewhere in, once a week then everything would be sorted. And the third thing is uh, the tires. The tires uh, do get uh, really affected if the vehicle is standing because the pressure is only applied on the lower part and the rest of the wheel is not experiencing that much of uh, so for that also the same, uh, you can move your vehicle uh, in every three to five days or five to seven days, that really doesn't matter. But if that uh, vehicle is kept for a longer duration, then the tires will definitely get damaged. There is no uh, way to protect them. So the fourth thing is the exterior of the vehicle and uh, to protect the exterior includes all the paints and all. So to protect that, uh, the best thing is to keep your vehicle clean and uh, currently in the lockdown situation there is nothing much to do uh, so if you can spare out a half an hour cleaning your vehicle that uh, won't be a big deal and trust me that will uh, help you in uh, maintaining the paint quality and the exterior quality of your vehicle because the conditions here uh, in India are really uh, extreme uh, in which there are extreme winds there is a lot of dust and uh, sunlight is very heavy so keeping your vehicle clean would help you to not get stains or uh, any paint and damages or paint burns in your vehicle so that would be a really good option if uh, you can uh, put a cover or uh, the body cover that comes with your vehicle or you buy it separately if you put a cover also then also the it would be a really good option because uh, that will really completely protect your vehicle from uh, the sunlight and uh, wind so that's also a really good option the last uh, and the fifth point is the interior the interior is something that uh, also gets damaged a lot because the plastic uh, uh, may get uh, damaged due to a lot of heat if you park your vehicle in the sun so i would suggest you to uh, if it's possible if there is a tree nearby or uh, maybe uh, you have a shed uh, nearby so uh, at your place so make sure that your vehicle is parked under the shade or it's not getting di direct sunlight as much as possible so the basically the plastic quality and all gets really damaged because uh, if there is uh, maybe a 32 degrees outside so if uh, the vehicle is closed and kept for so due to the greenhouse effect what happens is the temperature inside the vehicle uh, rises uh, quite a bit maybe it's 32 outside then the interior temperature could easily go above 50 60 70 it can vary a lot so uh, by uh, parking your car in the shade you can protect your interior and all the leather parts the seat covers or maybe the plastic mats rubber everything and no necessary uh, to do such things but yeah they can protect the interior of the car maybe the screens can get damaged or and the other thing that you can do is you can use these type of curtains that i've kept here I've applied curtains here because uh, there's a sunlight you can see back then there's a sunlight coming uh, on the rear side of the vehicle so I have I've, uh, put the curtain there also so that would uh, help the sunlight to enter and raise the interior temperature so that's all for this video I hope uh, you can somewhere relate uh, and uh, make some changes so that you can protect your car it's not just for the lockdown condition and it can also help you if you are keeping a vehicle for a month or two you're going somewhere or you're not using the vehicle so then keeping the, uh, these minor things in your mind can really help to protect your vehicle and use it may be ready to use one whenever you need so thanks a lot for watching this video and please subscribe to the channel if you have not done till date and like the video and share it if you like and that's it so thanks you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye